I got a series name. Oh. Basing with Stacy. <laughs> so you mean we should have a serious name for all the string experiments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of late now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Magpie. This is Bassmaster Andreas. And yeah. today we are sort of going back in time. But yeah. we're doing it better. One of our earlier yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah. 2016? 15? 17? I have no perception of 2000 and a while back. We're gonna do piano strings on a bass. We have a bassist, we have a bass here, and we have piano strings over here. So, uh, this is very nice. Let's combine these three <laughs> elements into something magical. We might revive other videos that we have done in the past, because uh, we are... Better now. Yeah. Wiser and older. But if you feel like you really want to see this old painfully cringe, you can become a member on my channel because I think I will have that when this video airs. Otherwise, I will just edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> you can access all of those old cringy but, so, but unlisted. They're not available on YouTube. Oh, no, they're private. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't. I don't want. I don't. I. I don't <laughs> like when it shows up in my feed. <laughs> I guess we should start with de-stringing. Let's do it as carefully as possible mm -hmm. because I think these are the only actual bass strings. I am. <laughs> also, shout out to another Swedish guy who did piano strings on a guitar recently. Mm -hmm. Actually, he didn't answer my email. <laughs> I don't know if we were the first to ever do it. I kind of doubt it. But I have no idea where you hook up piano strings. <laughs> the only way I have ever acquired piano strings is basically by doing like this. Now I'm showing a funny clip <laughs> of, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good, last spring. So since we did this before, we have a knowledge. Remember how we did it? We did it with the sugar cube. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah. But I know there's a lot of varying thicknesses when it comes to piano strings. And I think going with the thickest one, obviously this is basically oh, an entire piano except all of the like really thin ones because all of those are the same and they are very stiff as well they're not very inspiring to be honest but these are very inspiring yeah 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 i like it how did we attach them down here sugar kubi kubi let's oh what happened? Uh, it's like that game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Plucky pin. Plucky pin. Or something. Yeah. Plug. It's called plug, plug a pin. Grab a stick. <laughs> 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 Do you believe in this thick of a string? <laughs> like, that's so thick. Is that. Oh. So you take one of these, boom, and then just. This should be as good as I can do it. Tuning this one now, and I need to go in this direction, I think. Oi! the bass master now i am the bass master like this one is like a string yeah we should definitely try that one but none of them is, can reach <laughs> <laughs> Nay. we move this here yeah, closer can you do that yeah yeah i guess the figure the string the longer the string, meaning we're gonna have to go lowest string uh, oh, lowest yeah, that's position. True. We... 
do the opposite of the perspective. Very nice! It looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even tuned it, right? Nah. It just is what it is. <laughs> like, you're playing it like it's really cool, but it gets no tone or anything. Like, it's yeah. very dull. <laughs> Just gonna bring out a tube screamer ish paddle. French. Woo! Not introducing any distortion even. But we can. At this point, it's it's basically just regular ba bass strings, but very unpractical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, there's nothing spectacular going on. <laughs> it gets too muddy when you play the, like the, the lower ones because the, there's so many overtones here, right? But that, it is pretty cool. Though. Yeah. Bleh, bleh. It's like a drunk old man. <laughs> <laughs> Ska jag byta till något annat bit eller? Det kan ja. <laughs> but I don't need, I don't think we, like I think it, honestly, I think it stands on its own, on its own. This is a fine art type instrument. Yeah. You go to solo concert to get the piano bass. Because when you do the flashonetti thingies, uh. like that's where it really, like wow. if, when you do that. That's no reverb effect or anything. That's straight up only the bass. We tried reverb. We didn't like. We tried delay stuff. We didn't like. <laughs> the only thing we have is we're boosting the signal. 
We're not even like distorting it. Like we can distort it a bunch mm -hmm. if you want to. It's so badly. Yeah, really. Not this. <laughs> this. <laughs> Is this video concluded? Yeah, yeah I think so. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was kind of cool.